Hey, I'm about to open a Pillars of Strength booster box. I'm Watson, and this is Collecting in Coffee. How are you? Staying hydrated? No, I met the person who put us on in the background while they're doing homework or whatever. Don't worry about it, dude. Hey, thanks for clicking on the video. I just started uploading stuff a couple weeks ago, and honestly, it's gone much better than I expected. I didn't expect a fraction of the views I've gotten so far, so thank you for all of you who've come back. Whether this is the first of my videos you've watched, or you're here for round three, you can help me out by liking the video, leaving a comment, and subscribing to the channel. I'm prepared to upload every other week, so you should turn on notifications too so you don't miss out. I'm staring at a bunch of Pokemon 151 right now as I record this, and I'm gonna open that next, so you know. So yeah. OP03. And these One Piece booster sets have been kind of hit or miss for me so far. Romance Dawn kind of sucked, even though I pulled a couple of pretty high value alt cards. And Paramount War, whew. Well, you can watch the last video to see what happened there. Well, this is my third box, so I compiled some data, put out some sick statistics. Relatively small sample size, not even 100 packs. Might not be indicative of every pack ever sealed, but math is the language we've created to make sense of the big, scary unknown. Pattern recognition. Very cool stuff. I was also a little sick during this, so please excuse any sniffles that might have snuck through the editing process. Anyway, on with the packs. Last time I opened a box of One Piece trading cards, I said that was probably the best set that has come out yet. Paramount War, solid set. Lots of good art, probably from the general public's favorite arc of the entire series, most of the cards. This set, not nearly as popular, just judging by what people are talking about, but this booster set, this was what's made for me. It's got a lot of cards from East Blue, it's got a lot of cards from Water 7, it's got a lot of cards from the Big Mom Pirates, it's just everything I love in one booster set. I want to open this, I want to open it right now. Alright, let's get it open. We got another 24 packs of the One Piece trading card game. But no box topper looks like this time. Hmm. Okay, we gotta shuffle it down. Don't damage the cards. Tear on the perforation. Tear out. Not down. This set came out at the same time as the One Piece live action show did, which is pretty nice. Genzo, Alveda, Helmeppo, Gum Gum, Giant, Gavel. King Baum, Galley Law Company, Fiery Doll, Buggy, Boodle, Tempest Kick Sky Slicer, Charlotte Smoothie, and Marco, first pack, open it again with a super rare. Oh, so, so nice. We have, at least in this pack, most of this pack is East Blue. And the One Piece live action show was most of East Blue. So, I mean, if there was a time for good synergy, that's... They, they kind of knocked it out of the park with this pack. Nope. Lock the camera. Next one. Tearing out. On the front of the pack, we've got Rob Lucci and Charlotte Katakuri. Tilestone. Jerry. Charlotte Galette, Fossa, Momu, Hull Dismantler Slash, Usopp's Pirate Crew. <laughs> I would be very surprised if I ever see these three again. Haruta, Topknot, Bucci, Belmare. Oh, Belmare with Nami and Nojiko. <laughs> uh, I need to build a blue deck so I can use this. And Jum Gum Gum Jet Gatling. There he's taken out. Wait, Jet Gat. Oh yeah, that's Relucci. I thought that was Don Krieg for the second. Okay. So a lot of people take Katakuri as one of Luffy's best villains, but I'd take him more as more as a rival. I love Big Mom though. Big Mom is my favorite One Piece villain. Charlotte Chiffon, Namu, Pearl. I love this art that's just kind of like painted. They got the Don Quixote in the first pack that's just got like this. I want to say Baroque style to it, which 
not not the right word, word warlord for that. Yosuko and Johnny. Oh. Oh, and they're in front of Arlong Park. Ah. Oh. To the tech. Speed Jill. Topical. Tropical Torment, rather, with Charlotte Oven. Adio. Adio. From a video game that I have not played. Uh, I might get to it. Who knows? Oh. Nojiko spoiled the Rob Lucci in the pack. We got brand new, the Marines exposition dump, and a green Nami. This is Nami right after she reveals she's part of the Arlong Pirates, right before she stabs her own hand to protect Usha from Arlong. Rip open carefully. So the big chase card in this pack is the Soga King with the manga background which, as I alluded to, has not been quite as popular as the Ace or the Shanks. Alvita, Gaimon, Mino Zebra, Helmepo, Chinmi, Chimney and Gonbei, look at them in the Puffing Tom. Soap Sheep, Great Gag, Striker, Ace's little, little dinghy, little boat. Crossfire, Virgo, Vir Virgo. Virgo? Virgo in this? Okay. Ikoku Sovereignty, Big Mom. King Bomb, cut in half there. Marshall D. Teach. And Rob Lucci. He almost looks like it's a 3D model in this. I don't think he is, though. Alright, second super rare. Seems to be a lot of ace cards in here to supplement the last pack. With all their white beard cards. Ugh. I really wish... Th these packs are easier to open without potentially damaging the insides. Kiwi and Mozu. Kiwi and Mozu. Jabra. Kami. Fossa again. Hold this mantler. Slash. Bobbin the Disposer. Thunderbolt. Haruta. Kaku. Purple Kaku. Chu. Nice. Zef in a rare and. Charlie Smoothie, once more. I haven't looked up what the special Dawn card in this pack is either. I, there's a lot for me. <laughs> there's a lot that I'm looking forward to. So the alternate arts for the leader cards in the first couple packs had um, a headshot of an Oda drawn character in front of a map background of their color. In this one, it's switched to a color. Oh, this guy's new, Curiel. Uh, buggy. It's switched to Mary. <laughs> Ah, oh, this is so such good art. King Baum, Fiery Doll. Uh, it switched to. Let's get through this pack. Rob Lucci, Flame Emperor. Okay, so the the alternate art leader switched to, uh, just like this calligraphy style, this brush stroke, kind of kind of deal, which I I don't I don't like quite as much. I mean, it's definitely way more original art than the other ones, but. Kami, first Kami. No, it's wrong. It's not. It's not as interesting looking to me. I love Oda's art. Lim from Odyssey. Don't know who that is. Ace leader card. That that's why there's a lot of ace cards in here. Belmare and Khalifa. Now maybe it's just because. Maybe it's just because there's uh, east, a lot of East Blue cards in here. But there's a, or maybe it's because there's a Big Mom. A lot of Big Mom cards to supplement the Big Mom starter deck that they put out with this this pack. But there's a lot of ladies in here. Charlotte Praline, Pearl, Mary, Helmepo, Gum Gum Dragon Gavel, Haruta, Bobbin, Shirley. That's... Wow. That is a strange pull to pull in this pack, but I love Madam Shirley. One, two, Jongo. Carne. Fire Fist. Again. Usopp. Super rare. Is this? This is an alternate art. It's got the full art. Usopp as... I believe this is during his arc when he's doing his tearful attack against... I think it was Jongo? Whew. Love it. And we're not even halfway there. We're not even halfway there. Halfway there. Halfway there. Halfway there. Ooh, clean. 
Mina Zebra, Fossa, Sham, Yosuke and Johnny, Charlotte Opera, Corgi, Hold his family slash, Mamu, Virgo, Buggy, Sanji, Vintel, oh, Sanji, getting his heart broken. Watch this, Lise. You can actually pinpoint the second when his heart rips in half. And Bluno. Can we talk about One Piece live action a little bit? Why is it so good? It shouldn't be that good. No other anime, well, yeah, no other anime, even the, the marginally good ones like Speed Racer, no anime adaptation has been that good. It hasn't been that faithful to the source material, hasn't captured the same essence. Okay. I think that's the first time I've ever got a duplicate leader in the same box. But Inaki Godoy, he's... He is Luffy somehow. Like, he gets it. All the other ones, too. All the other Straw Hats, they... 100%. Absolutely. 100%. Nailed their characters. Now, I know a lot of people are kind of narrow. That's the first time we've seen Nero. Uh, I know a lot of people kind of bag on the guy who plays Zoro just for being a little too stoic, maybe a little too... Uh, wow. Charlotte Pudding. Ah, oh, Big Mom Super Rare, yeah! Yeah, a lot of people kind of bag on McKenyu for his portrayal of Zoro, but I don't... I think he did pretty good. I mean, it's it's not a... None of their performances is a, are exactly what they were in the manga, but I mean, nothing's going to be. Not even... The anime gets close, but it's it's different, too. Kokoro! <laughs> oh. All right, this is halfway. This is number... This is number 13. Lucky number 13. Um, yeah, I, I mean, McKinney, he did, he did a good job. They had to take the whole series and kind of bump up the seriousness, bump up the tone a little bit to be a little bit more, I don't know, TV PG, I, I guess. But, you know, oh, Paro Sparrow. No one likes him. I don't like him. But... He makes a good looking card. But I mean, with the American rating, television rating system, like you can't do the kind of stuff that One Piece does and not have that kind of rating. So, so I mean, like you got to throw some swears in just to keep the, keep the people engaged. They really beefed up Kuro's arc. Kuro's arc in the manga, it's not that great. They kind of really took the ax to Krieg as well, which, you know, for pacing, to get as much as they get done in as little time as they had. Usopp and the, yep, the other one was definitely alternate arc, because there he is again. I got both. They got through so much of the manga. They got through what, 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 We got through, I'm just looking over at my wall. They got through 10 volumes of manga in eight 40 minute episodes. That's insane. And somehow it didn't lose its integrity. It didn't lose anything that makes One Piece One Piece. It got the assignment Sure, Hoshi in a yellow. That's, ooh, interesting. There must be a yellow Merfolk deck coming out soon. Kaya and Jum -ju uh, Gum Gum Jet Gatling. Now, if only we could get the executives, the studio executives, to figure out their garbage and get this strike ended with charitable terms with the guilds we could have more One Piece. Charlotte Cracker, super rare. That, whoa. I love this. He's got his, like, decoy body, but he's still peeking out there, his real self. Ah. Maybe these cards would really bump up that Big Mom starter deck. I was playing with that a little bit. That's one of the first ones I bought. I kind of liked it. But there was a lot of stuff in it that I was like, hmm, I don't know. 
I looked at the back. This is our special, this is our special Dawn card, so without revealing anything else, let's just take a look at it. Oh, it's the Sanji one! Sanji, oh! The Sanji goodbye. That is a wonderful moment, I love it. Um, yeah, I mean... I didn't say anything of note during that, but... Gein. People like Gein. There was a point in time where people thought Gein was going to be coming back. Who knows, he might still be coming back, but I kind of doubt it at this point. Wiggle, 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 wiggle onto the middle. Open, 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 slowly. Open outward. Gotta keep everything. Oh, that didn't work. Flip. Yosuku and Johnny. Mino Rhinoceros, Charlotte Galette, Kumadori, Soap Sheep, Speed Jill, Tropical Torment, Lamenko, Zambai, Napoleon, Brand New, and Krieg. There's our boy who was mostly cut from the Netflix show just for timing but still showed up to get his ass handed to him by Mihawk. Five packs left. You know, Mihawk, that's another guy. I, some, you could say that that guy was completely blasé and not really into it, but like, isn't that who Mihawk, Mihawk, wow. Isn't that who Mihawk is? Just kind of like this whatever kind of attitude man. He comes in, he doesn't give a, Gosh darn, he wrecks ships. He moves on. Charlotte Lin Lin, yellow and black leader card. We'll look at that later. Charlotte Pudding again, and Rob Lucci. I don't know if we got him in rare yet, but we do now. What else? Okay, the thing I don't care too much about is the way that they kind of truncated Sanji's flashback. It doesn't kind of it does it doesn't really hit as good when Zeph is looking up to Sanji as he leaves than when you know Sanji's look doing the deep bow during the full Dodegeza groveling thanking Zeph for saving his life they more or less flipped this now I, I guess that might not play with like a more international audience but I feel like it kind of undercuts the sentiment of the whole scene if you don't have it. But, you know, who am I? Just some random guy opening trading cards on the internet. Not even saying the names of the cards anymore. Jongo, 3,000 worlds, ooh. Last three packs. We haven't seen a secret rare. We haven't seen the second alternate art card that exists. We've gotten two in the other two boxes. We've only gotten one secret rare out of these boxes so far, though. Being the, oh, the Uta from the second box. Maybe we won't get a secret rare out of this one. Look at this buggy. I don't know if I have appreciated this yet. He's so manic. I love it. Corgi. Rusa proper band of doom! I think... Was this... This might be limited or banned or something. Well, no, because it's... No, 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 it's mentioned on other cards, I guess. All right, anyway. Out of the bag attack. Shirohoshi, Lim, Ace, Izo, and... Spandam. What a wet fart of a reveal. No one likes you. Down to two. There's no point in doing a special reveal with either of them, so we'll just, we'll just go one at a time. And we'll just leave the other one on screen. As... We get in here, because that's the problem with these cards. Some of them have special backs, which let you know what's coming up. Pearl, Kiwi Mozu, Sham, Genzo, Galley Law Company, Tropical Torment, Speed Jill, Monkey D Garp, Top Knot, Rob Lucci. Monkey, D. Luffy, and Nami. Okay. This box might be less impressive than the other ones I've opened. Unless there's something in here. 
This is the last chance for us to see something. Real cool. Who knows? Maybe this will fix everything. Maybe this will maybe this will have the Soga King in it. Maybe this will have an alternate art leader of some kind. Tilestone. Jabara. Gaimon. Usopp's rubber band of doom! Charlotte Opera. Tooth Attack. Corgi. Pepe Lulu. I no, we've seen him before. Kurobi. Napoleon. Buzzcut Mochi. I'm pretty sure that's the first time we've seen this event. The gold outline, or the, the, the gold border, or the gold foil border kind of blends into the yellow coloring here a little bit. Interesting. Charlotte Katakuri! That's, that's the, that's, that's, that's the, that's, that's the secret rare. That's, ooh. That. Oh man, I love this. Oh, this is when he's fighting Luffy in Brulee's Mirror World. His observation hockey's going crazy. He's breaking up the floor bits. I need to stop touching it. I need to put it in a sleeve right now. Love this. So here's our pulls from the box. In chronological order, we got Usopp running from his village doing his Boy Who Cried Wolf shtick. We've got Don Krieg doing his big old guns attack on the deck of the Baratier. We've got Sanji saying goodbye. We've got uh, Rob Lucci standing in front of the Gates of Justice. We've got Marco. We've, we've got Marco. Charlotte Cracker doing his Charlotte Crackery thing. Charlotte Parasparrow. Charlotte Lin Lin. Those are our super rares. And then we've got Usopp. Alternate art, character card, and Charlotte Katakuri, secret rare, alternate art. Hi, editing Watson again. Uh, two seconds here. That's not the alternate art. These secret rares throw me off with all the texturing and stuff. The alternate art version of this card has no gold on it at all. It would be nice if there was some way to differentiate the two because sometimes the art defies the borders on the standard art of lesser rarities too. This is the Katakuri alternate art, not this. Although this card is still going for a good chunk of change regardless. Not a bad pull for a man with the sniffles. That being said, this is the weakest box I've opened so far. In terms of quantity, anyway. I don't care much for what the cards are worth. These sets are small enough that I'm just looking to master set the standard art cards and collect whatever alt I find as a bonus. I guess this one would actually tie with the Romance Dawn box if we're just going by the higher rarities, but here's the thing. In every box, I found one alt Dawn card, eight leader cards, and seven super rares. These seem to be guaranteed. I've also found one or two alternate art cards, and one or no secret wares. So with 10 super rares and two secret wares per set, you're never gonna see every card in one box, even of just the standard art. Every box does contain enough slots that it's possible to collect every leader card and every standard rare if luck's on your side. Lady Luck's a fickle bitch though. I got every rare in all but one leader in the first two boxes, but she stiffed me on one rare and two leaders in this one. My master set quest will have to continue another day. And that day will be in whenever this gets here. I'll let the more excited me close this out. <sighs> okay. I'm gonna calm down. I'm going to put all these away. I'm gonna move on with my life. But until next time, 